No question. How do you feel about your overall performance? You scored two tries in the middle game. Uh, I got that question a lot. So. <laughs> But well, I think it's I think it's a team effort and a system. The guys are working out with each other, and we'll just see the gaps opening up. And then I think I can't just uh, say take credit for myself. I think it's a, a squad effort. Um, so you a double Olympian now, not just a double Olympian, but a double medalist. How does that feel? And I how does it vote for your future? Like, I think will you always play sevens. Yeah, I would love to play seven, but I think the is a cafe. I mean, I started all day, but if, uh, those, if, uh, if I get the opportunity to go somewhere else, I'll definitely, but I love, I'll be by the seven star. And happy to be a double medalist at the Olympics? Uh, over the moon, over the moon. And how was the Olympic beds that everyone was talking about? It <laughs> was quite hard, oh. but the first few nights is okay. Okay, <laughs> perfect. You're not going to look into the camera, but you will look at me. Okay, no. Okay, Zane, um, congratulations on your bronze. The country is very proud of you guys. What does this bronze mean for you and what does it mean for the team? I think our team and our whole system, we went to a really like I say, rocky road for us and I think most of the people probably didn't believe that we were coming because we came into the tournament at 12 and we ended up there and I think we can give ourselves a huge regulation or uh, uh, congratulations for us because uh, I think the guys deserve it for all the hard work that we put in. Fantastic. And um, what are you guys looking forward to now? Obviously, Olympic training has been taking up most of your time, I would assume, leading up towards the Olympics. What's next? What's What do you guys have I to think we have to take a break now from rugby, enjoy the rugby, and then a loved ones, and I think we'll switch over for about four months or a few weeks, and then we'll come back again, and we know it's Dubai again the first, and folks will come back into camp, and we'll be in Dubai again, all the focus to that. Lovely. And uh, lastly, I know you guys didn't start to very strong, you started off slowly. Did that have any effect on the confidence of the team? I don't think I had any uh, like, uh, broke our confidence, but I think the guys just went out there and we defended well against both games against Ireland and New Zealand. We defended for all six minutes against Ireland, and I think the guys just found a feed with attack as well. And I think our third game came out blazing. Fantastic, congratulations. Thank you very much. So Thank you. Was there ever a moment when you just thought, oh, with the flat spots, we're going to like, we can pull this through again in that game against New Zealand? Yeah, like our coach Philip Slayman, he was the one who had a meeting, he said he, he's the one that believed in us. Mm. And I think the guys just took that to heart because we know our coach believed in us and I think we'll go out there and it doesn't matter the result, but we come off the field happy.